Well, thank you for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. My name's Ann Barnhart. The reason why I'm here is actually a very bizarre story. I am unwittingly somewhat famous in certain circles, infamous in others on, I don't know if you remember, but on Sunday, April 3rd, Lindsey Graham appeared on Meet the Press and said that basically he wanted to start enforcing Sharia law in this country. He wanted to keep people from criticizing the Koran and Islam. And the, the spur behind that was, I think the Terry Jones thing had just recently happened. And Graham, in the context of Jones, was saying that he wanted to be able to do something to push back against Americans and be able to punish outside of the law Americans who criticized Islam and did things like burn the Koran. Um, I, I saw this. I actually read it. I didn't see it. I don't even have television. But I read the, the transcript of what he had said and was just just livid, just absolutely livid. And this Lindsey Graham idiot, he's allegedly supposed to be a Republican. And here's this, here's this, uh, this lawyer, this military lawyer, who's also a Republican senator, senator getting on television and saying, uh, we, we need to start cutting back people's First Amendment rights to criticize Islam. Absolutely not. I was just infuriated. So that night I wrote up a script. I rebutted everything that he said sentence for sentence. And apparently I did it quite well because people on YouTube and on the internet really seemed to like it. And then what I did in the second part was I burned a Koran. But what I did was is I took my Koran and being the smart aleck that I am, I bookmarked it with strips of raw bacon, first of all. I had 17 Quranic citations that I, you know, most people in this country have never read the Quran. They don't know what's in it. They're falling for this propaganda that it reads just like the Old Testament. It does not read just like the Old Testament. It is, it's insane. It's the insane ramblings of a madman. And the concepts contained therein are satanic and evil to the core. And people out there have no idea what's in this book. So I went through, I just picked 17. I mean, there's thousands that I could have picked from, but I picked 17. I read them off, and then after I'd read it off, I pulled, I tore the page out of the Koran, put it in a fire bowl, and conflagrated the thing. That's how I burned it. I didn't burn it in total. I burned it page by page, citation by citation. This is why we are burning this thing. And then what, what made it really forceful and powerful, and I think the reason why I'm famous, is the last thing I did at the end of my presentation was I gave my name, home address, and said, anybody who wants a piece of me, come and get it. Come and get it. I'm not doing this crap anymore. I am not bowing to Islam. It's either you or me. And if you want to come after me, you come after me. But you understand that if you mess with me, I'm more heavily armed than the French army, and I will kill you if you mess with me. That's what you need to be doing. We are cowering in fear like the French. There's no excuse for this. We are Americans. You want a piece of us? You come and get it. You come and get it. And we will fight you and we will defeat you. And it will be the end of you. <gasps> no, you can't do that. You got to be nice. No. Ni nice will get you killed. Nice and five dollars will get you a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Nice is over. Nice is over. And nice is not Christianity, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever fall for that garbage. Nice is not what Christ commands. Nice means you don't know anything. It means you're ignorant. Literally, that's what the word means. Back in French to Latin, it means you know nothing. And you just agree with everything everybody says because you don't have any information of your own because you're an ignorant fool. Christ does not ever command anyone to be nice. He commands us to be not afraid. And unless we get our act together and we start acting like Christians and walk the Christian walk and be not afraid, exactly like the original 11, 11 of the 12 original apostles who were executed, if those men had been nice, Christianity would have never gotten out of the upper room. It would have never gotten out of the upper room. They would have said, we, we can't do this. Well, we can't, we can't ruffle anybody's feathers. They walked out of that door, and they went, and they spread the gospel to the entire world, and they died. They were killed doing it with joy in their hearts. That's what we have to do. If you're going to be a Christian, be a Christian. Not nice. That's not Christianity.